I got this log during the monsoon season last year. Um, truthfully, I'm not even sure what tree it came from because I was so excited to see it just kind of sitting there that I <laughs> stopped the truck, grabbed it, and then kept driving. When I was making the blank, I focused on the straight section before the knot. We're going to start by hollowing out the bowl area of the spoon first. So the only fancy chisel I have is the one that Paul Seller suggests. That only got me so far, so I switched to a small carving chisel from a really cheap set I have. This project was a way to help test this Suizan Dozuki saw. I'll be doing a review on it soon. As you're removing wood from the bowl area, you can use your fingertips to help determine the thickness of the walls. The curved scraper did a good job of smoothing out the chisel marks inside the bowl. I've been focused on using hand tools, but really it's all about just using the tools you have to make something. An example of this is if you've got a belt sander, you can flip it upside down in a vise and then use it to shape the spoon. So we're working from the bowl end to the end of the handle. This is a try to give us a flat surface to clamp to for as long as possible. I marked a center line and measured some layout lines for the handle. At this point, the shape was pretty nice, but uh, it seemed to be sitting too parallel to the table surface. To make sure it was nice and smooth, I worked my way up to 220 grit sandpaper. The finish for this is a 50-50 mix of mineral oil and beeswax. I applied it while it was still hot, but as it cooled, it became a paste. I like the way the finish turned out, but the grounds have a tendency to stick to it a little bit. Next time I think I'm going to try shellac. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. Barda's Shop Dog Cameo's next. If you've made a spoon or have some techniques that you just want to share or you got something to say, <laughs> I love communicating with you guys in the comment section. If you're interested in seeing some more behind the scenes action, the, the social media links are in the description. <laughs> Get out there and make something and we'll see you next time. <laughs>